Virgo if you're dealing with an Aries. And I'm going to go through all the signs here, see what the messages are here for you. Virgos dealing with an Aries. Virgos dealing with an Aries. What is the current energy? Virgo with Aries. Okay, wow. Fulfillment. Wishes coming true. Realizing dreams. Happiness. Cheerfulness. Um, joy. Prosperity. So it looks like your wish come true for an Aries, Virgo. If you have a connection with an Aries, this person just thinks you are the end-all be-all to everything. To, to them. To everything that they want. Complete fulfillment. Aries definitely feels that way about you okay so if you are dealing with a Taurus your connection with a Taurus okay Taurus is kind of struggling Taurus is like feeling left out in the cold Taurus doesn't know what's going on Taurus thinks that if there's a breakup or a separation that this is just temporary that you guys will be back together <laughs> um, Taurus is uncertain wants to get into realignment with you Okay, thinks that there's a lot of inconsistency and change going on right now um, <clears throat> and is really struggling. Okay, the relationship might be struggling at this time. Um, I don't feel like Taurus wants things to keep struggling. They want to find a way to get back into realignment, but they are kind of like, I don't know that they're losing hope because I feel like they're still keeping their faith as they're walking past here at stained glass window of like a church or some sort. But um, yeah, it's tough. They're, they're having a hard time right now. Okay. So Virgo, if you're connecting with a Gemini, what's going on with this Gemini? Okay. Gemini just thinks that you are everything. Wow. The Empress here. Gemini thinks that you are a good parent, that you are sensual, you're nurturing, creative, beautiful, handsome, feminine, um, very artistic. They see you as like a goddess or a god. <laughs> wow okay so yeah gemini's really got their eye on you at this time definitely um may even want to have your baby <laughs> or have a baby with you okay let's see virgo if you are connecting with a cancer oh cancer's going to be reaching out to you sending you some kind of love messages um maybe even apology coming for you from a cancer <clears throat> Um, they think you're psychic to some degree. They have a huge, huge crush on you. Um, they feel like they're completely naive when they're around you. You must be very smart. Well, usually Virgos are. They really admire you, and I feel like there's going to be some communication about that. Um, I feel like they think that you're very youthful looking. Um, they love your inner child spirit. Um, and, and your voice, I'm just hearing. They have a, there's also some very good news coming that they're gonna give you very soon, okay? If you are connecting with a Leo, Virgo with a Leo. Oh, okay. Well, hmm, why is this here? King of Cups, okay. All right, first message I'm getting, the Leo thinks that you're, you're, you're having a thing with um, a King of Cups or a Queen of Cups. Um, King Cups, masculine or feminine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so sure about jealousy or anything like that, but Leo thinks that there's something starting with another person. Um, they're questioning this right now. Like, is something going on? Are you, who are you talking to? Is um, The Leos might also tell you that um, the person you're with is hard up for you and it's not really your friend, so be careful. <laughs> Virgo, um, they might tell you that the person that you're friendly with or that you're talking to wants to get in your pants, okay? Wow, that's such a crazy message. Okay. Um, all right, Virgo, if you're connecting with another Virgo, oh, wow, there's some travel news coming. Uh, another Virgo is going to tell you that they're coming your way or there's going to be like something very fast either they're going they want to move in with you or they're going to be moving towards you um rather quickly rushing towards you this person has like it's cupid's arrows i mean this person is like oh holiday romance as well so i feel like this person wants to either travel with you or travel to you to spend some time over the holidays have some kind of like beautiful holiday romance 
you know, walking through the snow where there's like beautiful lights and hot cocoa and a romantic stroll. And yes, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I expect some messages, Virgo, from another Virgo. Okay. So Virgo, if you're connecting with a, Le a Libra. Oh, okay. <sighs> Libra's got a lot of stress right now. Weight on their shoulders, uh, a lot of heavy work, obligations. Um, it feels like the Libra is just kind of like not giving you much in the way of time here. Um, they're overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities. Libra feels taken for granted, is uh, just carrying a very heavy burden on their shoulders at this time. And I mean, it's a 10, 10 of wands. So I do feel like that struggle is coming to an end or that um, the, some type of a burden is coming to an end. Also hurt this person, this Libra is doing a lot. Okay, they're not, I'm not hearing it, I'm seeing it actually. They are searching for the perfect gift for you, whatever that might mean. They're searching for the perfect gift for you at this time, okay? Maybe it's the holidays, searching for a gift. They're having a hard time finding something to get you for maybe Christmas or the holidays, okay? Wow, interesting, okay. Uh, Virgo, if you're connecting with or you're dealing with a Scorpio, okay. Well, four of wands, you two are, there's gonna be a reunion, a coming home, a celebration, possibly marriage, uh, a family reunion, uh, a very successful happily ever after with a Scorpio. This person uh, wants to reunite with you, wants to come home, wants to celebrate the holidays with you. This is a 11-11, so for some it could be a twin flame connection. Um, uh, I just heard connect with family. Um, they want to connect with, with family members, either that's yours or theirs, okay. Um, or they connecting with yours, you connecting with theirs, okay. So if you are a Virgo connecting with Ace, oh, by the way, this person also wants to marry you, um, the Scorpio. Okay, Virgo, if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, wow, Sag is like, let's do this. You're my destiny. Sagittarius thinks you are their destiny. A little bit of a karmic relationship at times, okay? But definitely a soulmate thing. I feel like um, Sagittarius is making huge changes in their life, okay? Huge. They've gone through a, a really challenging upheaval. Um, let me just get one more. Yeah, maybe some legal issues or a divorce or a separation, but Sagittarius is 100% coming in to make something right here with you, okay? Connect with you, maybe even um, have like a, a lawful marriage, you know, uh, kind of like let's just go to the courthouse and let's just do this kind of energy, I feel. Um, they feel very lucky to have you to be connected to you in some way. This Sagittarius feels this way. Um, okay, let's take a look. What's going on with Capricorn? Virgo with a Capricorn. All right. Hmm. Capricorn's like a little bit hesitant right now. They're battle weary, drained. Um, they're not giving up, okay? They're not giving up. They know they're like so close to having some type of a successful connection with you. Um, but they're kind of with, I feel like they might be withdrawn right now and they're not really communicating because they're, they've kind of like gotten back into their corner and they're like re-strategizing something here. They have their, this is the wounded, uh, wounded soldier kind of card here, like already been through the battle, stepping back, um, putting boundaries up, trying to figure out, you know, gather the strengths learning from their past failures um but this person is it really feels like taking time to figure stuff out and they want to reconnect with you virgo this capricorn wants to reconnect with you all right virgo if you're connecting with an aquarius wow wow aquarius thinks you are extremely confident and brave they really admire you. They admire your courage. Wow, and your generosity. Oh my goodness. 
Virgo, this person really thinks the world of you here. Totally. They want to like contribute. <laughs> they want to contribute. Um, they want it to give, they want to um, give to you the way you give to others. There's something about you that I feel like this Aquarius is just in so much admiration and awe of you at this time. Maybe they've always been that. They admire how you overcome your self-doubt and how focused you are. You're a huge, like you have a huge influence on this person and I see them um, offering, you might receive some gifts, 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 gifts from this person, maybe around the holiday time, or they give you some money, <clears throat> offer you a job, um, offer you a position of authority, um, take you on board in some kind of investment with them. I mean, I don't know if this is love or if this is friendship, but whatever this connection is, um, I mean, this person They've never seen anyone with the strength and courage that you have. You just impress them so much, Virgo. Wow, I like that. Okay. Your your charity and your giving nature is what impresses them. They might be very selfish at times. And they see you who's like out there, you know, here, I'll help you. Here, I'll help you. And they're, they're just like, oh my gosh. They, they want to be like you. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, Pisces. Virgo connecting with a Pisces. Oh, what's going on with Pisces? Oh, right. Pisces must have just bought a new car, but Pisces is connect wants to connect with you. Um, don't be surprised if Pisces doesn't, they're going to show up at your house. I know some of you might like, no. <laughs> There's a homecoming here. This person wants a happily ever after with you. A reunion for sure. This person, this Pisces is coming in. Okay. They're definitely coming in. And, um, you know, all of this energy is going to play out through the month of December. I feel like this, um, this Pisces is really up in their emotions about you. And they've got their sights set on you. They're determined to connect with you long term. Yep, they want to win you over. They want to win your heart. Wow. Very nice. Very nice.